Raw yeah. Status TV. Hit that thumbs up. The Raw Status IG. One Raw Status yeah. Twitter. So the Boston Celtics yeah. have won the yeah. NBA championship. Congratulations to Jason Tatum. A long time coming for that brother. Not a big fan of Boston. As a matter of fact, I don't like Boston anything except for the cool people that come from there. But the Celtics did it. You got to give it to them. And we're going to talk today a little bit about what's been going on with the politics of basketball. We're going to start with the Boston Celtics. Now, I'm listening to suspected white supremacists like Dan Patrick and people calling up to his show talking about Brad Stevens, the white boy GM that couldn't cut it as a coach, should be the... MVP. Does that make any sense? Shouldn't the MVP go to someone like, say, Jason Tatum that actually played the game or uh, Jalen Brown or Al Horford? And for that matter, remember when they were talking about European players are more skilled, have more fundamentals, are going to take over the league because they're just better than the American players. Uh, Read black American players. Hit that thumbs up. The desperation of the white sports fan throughout the world it's like the nonsense that you see going on with caitlin clark a two-time loser in the ncaa a turnover machine in the wnba has raised her stats a little bit just because of a high scoring game a 30-point game she's been getting cooked by other guards um you know she might get there to superstardom but right now she's not but they desperately want her to be better than the black women in that league you even have these snow bunny chasing lame ass black dudes out here and these uh, mixed race guys like uh, 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 Austin Rivers, who should have never been in the NBA, if you ask me, out here caping for her. And it's really sad. They desperately want that great white hope that will never appear. It didn't happen with Bird. It didn't happen with Dirk Nowitzki. It, it's not going to happen with Luka Doncic. Okay? So, no, Brad Stevens shouldn't be the MVP. European players are not better than American players, meaning black players. Look at the Boston Celtics and their roster. Jason Tatum is the best player on that roster. Throw Jalen Brown in there. A lot of respect for Jalen Brown. Uh, European players are not more skilled than FBA players. They're just not. European players are not even better than foreign born black players. Joel Embiid, Al Horford. The list goes on and on and on. Hit that thumbs up. Does Luka Doncic make it to the finals without FBA Kyrie Irving. Shout out to Kyrie for having a great year. A lot of people took a giant dump on Kyrie when he was in Boston, uh, when he was at the Brooklyn Nets with the nonsense with the Hebrew Israelites film. It's good to see him bounce back. Um, I see that guy winning another championship at some point. Um, But understand what's going on with the politics of sport. sport. You remember a few years ago when they kept putting up these nonsense stats about how Luca was better than James at his whatever age. And I mean, listen, first and foremost, when we talk about sports, we're talking about athleticism. We're talking about natural genetic superiority of the black Africoid athlete, whether they FBA or non FBA. We are talking about who is in better shape for the game. LeBron James has kept himself in impeccable physical condition, something that is overlooked when you, when you talk about LeBron James. As we saw in these finals, Luka Doncic was not in good shape. That's one of the biggest reasons why he could not play defense. He can't move, okay? The guy is overweight. The guy is not in shape. What is he doing? Is he drinking brews? Is he smoking cigs? Luka seems like one of these guys that's going to learn the hard way that your natural talent isn't enough. You have to step it up on the conditioning. You have to learn how to play defense. You have to learn the game. It's kind of sort of like Joe Pesci. That Italian mafia thing, that shtick that he used to do, just didn't really work out. You have to learn how to be an actor. You have to learn the nuance of acting. You have these stat geeks, these white stat geeks in sports media. They're all over TV. They become coaches and GMs like Brad Stevens. And they want to give them the props. They want to give them all of the accolades for the work that the athlete, the black athlete, puts in. They use these cooked up stats. There's a new stat every week, every day, it seems. Uh, He's the first player to have 10 assists on a Monday night on the 10th of June. And it's just like, what are you talking about? Okay. Can he put it, can he lace him up and get it on the floor? 
so far the answer is no. I'm not saying that Luka isn't a good player. He's a great player, but he's not LeBron and he never will be. He's not Jordan. He never will be. He's not Kobe. He never will be. He's not Shaq. He never will be. Different comparison, different, different position. I get it. He's not Karl Malone. The NBA is something that they really loathe, meaning the white supremacists. I always point to when they lost their minds when these guys were coming out of high school and going straight to the NBA. They changed the rules. It was just, you had grown black men on television talking about, they need to go to college. A black man should have a, de a degree. Why the hell did Kobe Bryant need a college degree? Does LeBron need a college degree? Now, I agree you learn how to play basketball in college. Okay, they came with the G League. They messed up everybody's money. Something that the players should fight against. Now, you have other options. Now, you have China, you have Turkey, you have Europe. Okay, you can do it like that. But why should you have to? The wet dogs want to white supremacist their way into sports superiority. They've been trying it since times immemorable Jack Johnson. But they can't because you can't beat nature. You can't beat a tornado. You can't beat a hurricane. You can't beat an, an earthquake. You can't look at the sun for too long. You can't swim in ice cold water. You can't set yourself on fire and live. And you cannot defeat someone with Afrocoid genetics in professional sports unless you take steroids. Hit that thumbs up. Now the difference is Luka Doncic will not take the heat that LeBron took. Um, he won't take the heat that say Shaquille O'Neal took. I remember when Shaquille O'Neal came in the game. Okay, this guy was out here making rap albums. Why is he making rap albums? He needs to focus on a championship. Well, champions, are, what, what kind of focus? You pay them all this money and you want to, you want to make rap? I said, if bro wants to make some platinum, some platinum selling albums with DJ Quick, well, let bro do that. You may hear some light criticism in the moment, but it's not going to be the way that they talked about, say, you remember the football player, Robert Griffin III. When he got injured in the Super Bowl, they acted like it was criminal. It was the cornrows. That's what they really hate. And I know about Robert Griffin III's uh, politics and all of that. But my point is, these white supremacists get up in arms when they realize that their genetics will not carry them to the top naturally. But it's very hard to white supremacist sports. One of the ways that they try to make themselves appear to be superior in sports is to give passes to inferior play by white athletes. Exactly what's going on with Caitlin Clark. You're going to see this happen with Luka Doncic. They excuse their losses like I just talked about. But they overemphasize losses when it comes to black athletes. Kwame Brown touches on this a lot. Or at least he did when I used to listen to him until he started with all that black Republican conservative nonsense and I'm not a Democrat. Hit that thumbs up. However, if there's one thing to be said about the NBA, in my opinion, the excitement is gone. Um, what we're having going on right now, basically modified basketball. The passion has been taken out of it. The anger, the hostility, which makes the game, the game great. The physical play, I'm okay with 85, 80 basketball, 67, 62 basketball, because defense is what makes the game. But they need guys like Luka to sell them. For a few years now, the NBA has been talking about expanding below the border, down into Mexico, Mexico City. Now, if you're an NBA player, do you really want to play in Mexico? I mean, have you not seen the murders and the cartel leaving heads on the highway and killing Americans that come down there just to go to Puerto Vallarta? Hit that thumbs up. Like the white people from California with their Australian buddy that went down to Mexico and allegedly were murdered because they wanted to jack their tires. Or I think they mean the drugs were inside of the tires that they had bought that they were going to take back to the U.S. But they did the old classic sell it to the mark, then set the mark up. Hit that thumbs up. This is raw status TV. The greater point that I'm making is the insecurity of the white supremacists and their need to control sports and make it appear to the world like they actually have the ability to compete with the black athlete. Hit that thumbs up. I started off rooting for the Mavericks, but I ended up rooting for the Celtics because I wanted to see the proof positive. That game superiority still lies within the veins of the FBA players. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know you did. This is Raw Stats TV. Leave your comments. Bye.
never stopping. I thought I told you never, ever. Yeah. Mental game, the vision, the plans. Execution.